Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar The Last Airbender Book 3 episode number 13 and 14. Alright, the previous two episodes, um, episode number 11, uh, we were in the middle of the invasion. Unfortunately, the Fire Nation already had a trick up their sleeves. Uh, technically speaking, it was Azula, you know, like who actually trapped them and tricked them. And she just wasted their time while like, you know, like they were trying to find the Fire Lord, but they weren't able to. The time went away, the eight minutes of the eclipse, it went away. And unfortunately, nothing worthwhile was like, you know, was being able to be done in that time. Uh, something bad happened, which is all the adults, they had to be like, you know, they had, they were captured because they had to stay there to keep the, the children, you know, like to make the children get away from that situation. They had to act as, uh, like, you know, someone who can stop the fire nation. So they stayed there. They are probably captured. Hopefully, you know, nothing bad happens to them and, you know, Ang and uh, Ang's crew can come back and rescue them as soon as possible. And Zuko got out of this Fire Nation and episode number 12 was Zuko actually um, joining the crew. And we see the different you know, problems that the, he had to face. Obviously, like, you know, no one is going to trust you like that. Uh, and he had a bit of a difficult time because he's not accustomed to actually, you know, apologizing and talking with people and making friends. So <laughs> yeah, he struggled a lot. Uh, but thankfully, you know, uh, like, you know, the, the little thing that happened with the combustion man uh, <laughs> and, you know, like everyone, he was kind of able to show his sincerity and everyone accepted them. Uh, obviously, uh, another reason is because Ang needs a fire bending teacher. Uh, Toph is the one who is, I think, the most neutral about this situation. And uh, Ang and Saka has a little bit of grudge on, uh, you know, um, Zuko, but not that much. But Katara does not like Zuko at all. Obviously, I don't blame her because she has been actually, um, you can call it betrayed because, you know, she trusted Zuko and actually decided to help him. But he betrayed her trust at that moment. And I think that is probably the biggest reason. Because people can be forgiven, but if you actually betray someone's trust again, then it's a bit difficult to forgive that same person. So I can understand where Qatar is coming from. He's very, uh, you know, like suspicious about Zuko and he's like, you don't you dare try to pull anything, you know, like I'll see to that, that you, like, you know, you your destiny ends here if you try to do something. So yeah, that was great. So yeah, let's get started. Let's get see what this video is about. Hopefully Zuko is able to make friends with them in these two episodes that I'm going to react to. We'll see. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number um, 13 of After the Last Airbender, book 3. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1. All right, let's go. I'm sorry about the noise, you know, the background noise, the hammering noise that's coming. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right, I wonder, like, Ang needs to teach, uh, like, you know, learn fire bending very quickly. And we know Ang can do that. Ang is very good at, uh, like you know, learning new things. We saw it while water bending and earth bending. Okay, let's take this off. I don't want any spoilers. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, so he's able to do it very quickly. He's able to learn stuff quickly. So I'm sure he'll be able to learn fire bending quickly as well. And he kind of has the basics down a little bit from Zhang Zhang. Uh, so yeah, I think. Hopefully he'll be able to do it quicker. And yeah, we need to do it quicker because you know, like people are actually waiting for us to rescue them. All right. The five ending masters. Oh, okay. Okay, training, let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> he can do that. Oh, okay, never mind. Did you forget? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what's happened to Zuko? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because this is like a air temple, so I don't know. Oxygen, oh, oxygen. You need more oxygen. You know, like a, in more altitude, there's lesser oxygen. Is that the reason why? <laughs> oh my god. Saka. <laughs> okay. That sounded kind of wrong, but you know, I'll ignore that. <laughs> I can't fire vent. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> what? Maybe. Yeah, you know, because... Feel the anger for your father now. Okay, true. Maybe passion. What? <laughs> oh. Okay, interesting. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, interesting. That's about surviving. Oh, that as well. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dragons? Yeah. <laughs> What's... Momo doing? Oh. Oh my god, okay. True. Maybe. Oh boy. Yeah, I think that's worth a shot. Let's go. Um.
Yeah, you'll get used to it. All right. Is this place it? Oh, okay. Wow. Like uh, those ruins, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my God! Made some trap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Mm, maybe it means we should be here because we can get something. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's <laughs> Oh, what? Wow, why? What? Oh my god, this this guy is Oh he... No maybe at that time he was Okay. Yeah like losing his son changed him I think, you know? Um Iro. He was a pretty upbeat guy, but still he was a Fire Nation person. But after losing his son, he was able to learn the value of life a lot more. And he became a person like this now. All right. Oh. OK. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. They. Okay. Oh. Oh wow. Oh my god, look at this. Like a tradition or something maybe? Okay, this is like a password or something. Oh maybe you have to dance and like you know move. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yes, like, go like this. Oh. It's like the fusion dance. <laughs> okay. Oh. Whoa, what? Is that a d egg? Is that a dragon egg? I think that's an egg. <laughs> it is an egg. It's a dragon egg. Oh my god. Whoa, what the? <sighs> okay, what is this? Oh, oh my god, never mind. Oh no!
Uh Okay. Hmm. This is a very bad position. Damn. <laughs> Maybe Yeah, that's better than nothing, I guess. Whoa! Oh, hello there. One of those ancestors? Um, what the? Oh, I thought that was an egg. Hmm. Yeah, I you don't play this card. Okay. Okay. Do okay. Hmm. They're actually probably protecting themselves from the Fire Nation, you know? Run and shout. Okay. Oh my god, that's a... Uh... <coughs> okay, let's go then. Oh! Okay, and not let it go out. <laughs> well, I kind of know fire bending a little bit, you know, so. Oh. Oh my god. This is like, you know, teaching fire bedroom how to control. Hmm. Whoa. My God. Damn, look at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on, more juice. Oh, nice. We're here. Okay, good. Nothing happened. I thought something was going to happen. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go again. Here we go again. Ooh, that's cool. Hmm. 
No, no, ya. Yeah. You're the avatar, you can handle it. Yes. Not only air bending, you can water bend and earth bend as well, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Let's go. Oh, is this the thing that plays? Oh, in the ending. Oh, wow. <coughs> Me <coughs> All right, let's go. And concentrate. Okay. Oh, it's like two directions. Where? Oh, okay. Whoa. Come on, the fire. Ang, the fire. Ang. No, 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 no. Don't, Ang. You're going to. Whoa! Oh, these are the dragons! Oh, maybe there's a blue dragon as well? There you go! Okay! Wow! What? What the hell is... Oh! Hey, okay. <laughs> wow, this is really cool. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh! Wow! Wow, look at that! Alright, that's good. I don't like these guys. I don't know why, especially the other guy. The the main guy is okay, but I don't know like something kind of rubs me wrong in the wrong way. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Okay.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he was using anger to feel it. Yeah. <coughs> wow. Oh my god, look at that. Come on, Ang, you can do it. <laughs> you have to die. <laughs> um I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Saka Saka, enough with the jokes Um <laughs> Okay, well That's good, a happy ending <laughs> For now, at least. Okay, um, <laughs> wow, that was good. Now, this episode here, we see how Zuko has lost his drive, as he said. He, all this time, he had the one <coughs> goal of, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> of um, capturing Aang. And that was, you know, like, fueled with his anger, his pride, and everything. So, losing that <coughs> goal <clears throat> he no longer <coughs> was able to do firebending like he did before and like all this time the the reason that he made you know like the the drive which was anger and hatred which he used for firebending was something that is usable but it's not the proper way of firebending like as the you know as ang said like all this time i thought firebending was destruction and the similar thing also probably uh, like you know went through zuko's mind as well he also thought of firebending as a way of destroying so that's why ang was hesitant to use firebending and zuko was actually using his hatred to fuel that firebending but now you know because both of them are on the same side and ang knows that he has no firebending and zuko knows that he should not use his initial uh, reason for firebending um they kind of like you know got stuck midway so now learning that actually firebending is a lot more than that it's fire is a part of life it is something that gives lives as well so that's how they are able to make a new goal a new sun within their heart from which they will be able to extract the power to firebend a lot better than like you know they ever did before because Mm, Ang, you know, like before he was firebending a little bit. He after he learned from Zong Zong, but you know because he hurt Katara, he lost that. And Zuko is in a, was in a similar position because he lost his firebending after he realized that I should not use my hatred. So now they can use it a lot more efficiently and not more better than they ever did, because their goal now is an actual uh, source of power, unlike. The way Zuko usually did it by fueling it with hatred. It is something positive now, and it brights, like it's shining brightly like the sun. So, yeah, that was that was a good episode. All right, here in this episode here, we <coughs> see Zuko trying to teach Ang firebending. Unfortunately, he cannot. And there's a few things that we get to know here, which is quite interesting. First of all, is that what like you know who are the original benders? It's interesting to think of it because, you know, like, uh, as um, Toph says, the original earthbenders were badger moles. Now, looking at it like that, like IRL as well, you can probably call moles, like, you know, 
moles as earth benders as well because they you know kind of burrow, burrow themselves within the earth and use earth to do stuff and you can call them earth benders if you want to because it's kind of technically related to earth the things that they're doing and it's interesting to see that they are actually like you know saying that yeah these were the things who were the actual um original benders and humans just learned it from them and they were able to make you know it more powerful so badger moles were the original benders earth benders um dragons were the original fire benders um sky bisons were the original um um air benders so who are the original water benders like what what animal is associated with water bending i can't remember did they ever mention it um water bending. who is the water bending after i i i think i've uh, i don't know like i feel like like we we know about uh kyoshi after kyoshi after roku after Kyoshi was an earthbender, after Roku was a firebender, Ang is an airbender. <clears throat> I think we never got mentioned, like, you know, we never <clears throat> heard about a fire, water bending after before. I'm sure there, like, you know, that there are water bending earth, uh, water bending avatars who came before, but they never mentioned any, I think, in this uh, anime, uh, uh, like, you know, in avatar at least. So yeah, anyways, you know, like so I I still don't know who which animal is associated with water benders. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section. And uh, yeah. Alright, anyways, okay, so <clears throat> it's interesting as I was saying, it's interesting to see hear this from Toph as she explains that yeah, these were the original benders. <clears throat> and we humans just learned it from them. And we are able to make them a lot more powerful. Uh so <coughs> that's why you know like all the dragons are gone and here like you know when um zuko said that dragons were hunted for like you know glory and <coughs> okay who started that the great grandfather sozin sozin started this i don't know what the hell went through his mind when he started this because as far as i can remember in the flashback he himself rode a dragon didn't he yeah so i don't know why why even like what what the anyways he 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 was far too gone you know like after he betrayed um roku like that yeah like he can do anything i guess like <clears throat> it's like that mad with power so yeah like he's the one who had this bright idea of actually killing the dragons who could be one of the like you know like their best allies just like yeah let's just kill them like what type of a mental like you know i don't know like how can someone even come up with this decision i have no idea anyways um so yeah he made a you know he decided to defeat them and he, th he thought that oh defeating them will be like yeah we are even stronger than dragons so yeah anyone who will defeat dragons will be given that title dragon and now that i realize it i realize why they call iroh the dragon you know because everyone thinks that he killed like you know he, he defeated a dragon while he i think he did defeat a dragon but he did not kill them he just you know like <clears throat> learned the secret of fire bending from them and just made them like you know go into hiding now here's the thing uh, when they started talking about iroh and when uh, zuko said that he had a complicated past you know um now we kind of saw a little bit of flashback before like you know like what happened with the whole like you know uh, uh, iroh losing his son uh the ba Sing Se incident <clears throat> we saw the flashback in in the tales of ba Sing Se. you remember when we get a little flashback so yeah okay so there no no was it there or was it in some other no it was it was another episode even before that you know where we get a little flashback where we get to hear like you know we see that iro zuko azula like, you know all are there and how iro is writing a letter you know from basing say and then he comes back uh surrendering because his son died all that stuff happened 
Now, I've always thought that Zuko was a, uh, not Zuko, sorry, Iro was a pretty understandable guy. You know, he was one of those people who um, understands stuff, unlike the other firebender masters or whatever, who, I don't know, has their head in some other dimension because they think of something extreme, like, you know, like the way Sozin thought, he defeats, kill, kill all the dragons. Yeah, that would be the source of our power. That was the way Sozin thought. Then, like, you know, Zulon, I think that was the grandfather's name, yeah. He thought of it in another way. He, he decided to kill Zuko. I don't know why the hell he thought that. And, you know, like, he himself got killed. And then after that comes Ozai, who who is like, yeah, like, like you know, like, um, like, capture the after and kill them and all that stuff. Like, these firebenders, they are completely insane. The only exception that I've seen is um, Iroh, you know. Now, Iro is a pretty understandable, like, you know, he understands stuff a lot more. He knows the value of life a lot more. And I always felt that he was able to understand that from the, the day after he lost his son. But it turns out that he was a person, like, you know, he was a nice person from the beginning. And probably the death of his son was able to teach him more things, teach him the value of, more value of life. So he was a nice person from the beginning, but the death of his son was something that affected him so much that he really became, became someone who was able to appreciate life and the little joys of life a lot more than other people. Like, look at Iroh, like, you know, all the time he's so happy. He, he loves like simplistic stuff. He loves just having a little tea, jasmine tea, and just like, you know, enjoying life. That is Iroh. And like i'm sure like circumstances made him like that after losing his son he was able to appreciate little things in life and and even before that he was a very understandable person i think like like at least i was able to understand it from this episode because i thought that before his son died he was probably i like i thought it of it like this like i thought that i was also probably kind of similar to the other firebenders but after losing his son you know, he became a lot more understanding. But this episode kind of proves that no, he was like that from the beginning. You know, he was a lot more understanding from the beginning. Because here, uh, they explain it in the end that, the, like, you know, like, uh, the guy explains that Iroh was the one who defeated, like, you know, who fought with the dragons and who was able to, like, you know, who was deemed worthy by the dragons. And that's why, like, you know, after that, Iroh did not let anyone know that the dragons are alive. He kept it a secret. So, so yeah. So yeah, like Iro was a very good person from the beginning. All right. Anyways, okay. So here we get to the this uh, you know these ruins. And at the beginning, I thought the little egg was like a dragon egg or something. I thought it was going to hatch. It turns out it was something else. I'm not sure if that's an actual egg or it was something else. It was, they're calling it a sun gem or sun jewel or something like that. But yeah, now they got, like, you know, trapped. And these people, they made them go through a, you know, like a little test to see if they're worthy enough. Now, like the, the the guy the main guy you know the the person who kind of looked like the leader of this whole thing he he's a okay like you know he's an okay dude but i really do not like the other guy who was like oh like yeah we'll get dinner and uh, like he's kind of like that you know like i did not really do not like him that much because it seemed like he he really didn't want to listen to the other party he just like you know like i don't know like like he was like you know like when he saw that uh, they passed the test. He was like, "Ah, oh, shucks!" Like, yeah, like. <sighs> Anyways, but but the the main guy was okay, you know. Like he 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 had like an open mind. He was like, "Okay, let's see if these guys are worthy enough." And as soon as he saw that the dragons deemed them worthy enough, he he he, you know, like he he was also like respectful to them, to Ang and Zuko. Uh, he was even joking in the end, you know, a little bit. <laughs> So yeah, now I, I, I really do wonder, like, if they did not start dancing at that moment, what would have happened? You know? Like, 
like the guy was saying that they're going to get become dinner you know like this guy the nasty guy who i don't like he says that oh here it comes any moment now dinner for the masters like maybe maybe the dra dra dragons would really eat them or something <clears throat> but yeah now here's one thing as i said like you know like I'm, I'm kind of being a little bit harsh on the guy who was like you know kind of a bit rude and nasty towards ang and zuko but we have to understand that these people were like you know like driven from their home and have to live in like you know secret because of the fire nation and you know so yeah i guess they have a little grudge on them but one thing i was really not like i i i, re I understand the reason why they have a grudge on zuko because you know like he is like a prince even though it's not correct to actually like you know like relate correlate your father or your uh you know like your ancestors uh the stuff that they did like make the fault yours it's not okay to do that like that's something that his forefathers did it's like why is zuko being treated like this it's not okay for that but i can kind of understand why they do it you know because zuko is there and it's his family that actually did all of these things like that's why when he started like you know saying like blaming zuko i was like you know what yeah like these people are you know being uh, had to go through so much so many things so it's kind of normal to have a grudge on zuko but i was really flabbergasted when they started blaming ang because he just like you know wasn't there for like a hundred years like uh, like making it his fault uh, he's a child like i still I'm, I'm i'm still not happy with that this whole thing of like you know people blaming him because he just went away for a hundred years like like you're blaming a child like i i know he's an he's an avatar i know that like, you know but that, that does not negate the fact that he's a child and like you adults are basically blaming a child because you know he was not there for a hundred years like i don't know it kind of feels a little bit irresponsible in my opinion like you know like so what does that mean they all were like uh, waiting for ang to save them like was that what they're talking about like yeah because ang was not there this happened is that like that's like they're the way they're like you know making this whole thing they're like you know what the fire nation attacked us you were not there why weren't you there you should have helped us it's your duty to help us because you're the avatar and because of that look at us now like that's the way it, it seems like and i'm really not happy with that way of actually blaming someone you know because it's their duty to do it and you know like they never did it like like they themselves uh, i don't know what i'm where if I'm, I'm going with this but i'm really not happy with the fact that i've seen this before as well like you know in a previous episode where people blame ang because he was not there for a hundred years like you're forgetting that he's a child he's an avatar i understand but he's a child before that and you're just blaming you adults you grown-up adults are blaming that child because he was afraid of the situation and he like you know was afraid to gather his courage and he just was not there for a hundred years i really feel that a bit sad you know like maybe it's just my opinion you know like but i i'm really not happy with the way people actually blame Ang all the time that yeah you were not there this is your fault like why what what type of a Ugh, anyways yeah let's just forget about that but yeah by the end of it everything goes well you know and um yeah they have unlocked the real like you know they they understand the real reason of firebending the real motivation in their heart now like as zuko said that the sun inside our heart with the new drive that we got you know i understand it now and yeah i'll like my new drive is to defeat the fire lord with you and from there i'm going to gather my energy from and uh, yeah and in the end we kind of see like everyone was uh, laughing and having a good time with zuko as well you know like kind of teasing him <laughs> it's nice to see that they're actually warming up to him little by little and i'm sure like you know a time like you know, obviously like i'm sure in the near future um everything will be okay and they'll treat him like like you know like a friend so yeah so yeah that was it guys so this was episode number 
um, 13. So let's start with episode number 14. And this episode is, I think it's kind of like a two part episode, just like the previous one. But unfortunately, like, you know, I'll, I'll be reacting to the first part today, the second part next week. So yeah, let's start with episode number 14. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Think it to whichever is your preference and let's start. So, all right. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Okay. All right, let's take this off and okay. Hmm. all right here it is chapter 14 boiling rock part one boiling rock okay <laughs> oh my god that's good <laughs> <laughs> You're bad. Come on, like let Saka handle this department. Uh, Saka can handle it. <laughs> okay, that's good. Everyone's going along. No. Getting along, everyone. What's the matter with Saka? What? Oh, the parents, you know, like, yeah, like, hopefully they're okay. ah. because he doesn't know, probably. Wait, what? Boiling rock. Okay. Oh, my God, that sounds dangerous. Ah Middle of a phone. Oh. oh Okay, Saka, don't get any ideas. I feel like he's deciding, like, you know, he's planning to just, oh my god, here we go. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. How are you able Oh my god, the honor again. Yeah, Zuko gets it the most. He... Oh, 
Oh, okay. And it can also act as a camouflage, but oh my god. I feel like Aang and uh, I don't know, like they could have helped. Nope. Well, you're the after, so. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna act as a camouflage as well, so. Kind of handy, you know, using fire bending to just. <laughs> uh. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, no, I do as well. Yeah. Yeah, he was able to, you know, like learn from his mistakes. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should not laugh at this. I'm sorry, the way Saka said that and the way Zuko answered. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should not laugh at this. My god, what the hell? All right. Oh boy. But the thing is, how are we going to get out? This war balloon can't help, like, you know? Oh my god, here we go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Jump, I guess. <laughs> parachute, you have parachutes? I doubt they have parachutes. <laughs> Oh my god, it's boiling water. Oh no. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, we need to, we need to save the others as well. The warble won't help. That's how soccer rolls. <laughs> mm, that's what I said. Ah. Destroying evidence. Yeah, destroying evidence. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, look at this. Um, I don't think this design switch will work because Okay, it works. There you go. What the Chirsang. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah, Chit Sang. Well, yeah, they're playing dirty again. Oh! Nice. Yeah. Okay. Interesting that there are five bending prisoners here as well. Like... Saka can just, you know. Ah. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, Fire Nation criminals as well. Okay. Okay, okay, interesting. Okay, I did not know. I thought that the war prisoners are only here. Okay. That's why there are five ending prisoners as well. Oh, look at this. Like, probably a big shot. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, he tried to. No, wait. Yeah. Oh my God, they're blaming. Okay. Guess you have to jump in the boiling water then, because Saka is going to break a few people out. I'm sure of it. Oh, maybe they're keeping it a secret. I think I think they're keeping it a secret or something. <sighs> oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> oh, wait, that's Suki? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So the earth... Okay, the earth vendors are here. Or oh, maybe... Oh, all right, let's see. <laughs> um, you're gonna get slapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, mm. okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> hey, 
Hey, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, let's get out now. Oh. <laughs> uh. Well, I think you're going to get arrested instead of. Yeah, let's go. You're under arrest. Yeah. Come on. Ugh. Okay. Wait. Oh no. Okay. Mm, great. Well, Oh, I was, <laughs> I was like, when did they meet? Ah, Zuko. All right. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh! Wow! Good! Saka, good! Oh my god, this guy. Okay. Yeah, like, but, and then, then what? Oh, whoa, this guy. <laughs> and yeah, maybe he can help. <laughs> oh, well. Well, we, yeah, he was uh, imprisoned, so. Just, yeah, smack someone and get into another. Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh my god. Wow! <laughs> yep. Okay, good. Damn, it's cold. <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh, my God. Uh. Yeah, we need to wait. Uh, 
Chitsang will not appreciate this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's a tough choice. Okay. Okay. Ah. Yeah, you need to keep going. Ah. Uh, yeah, Zuko also probably stay. Okay. Hopefully, everything goes well. Ah, uh, well, yeah, you need to take your chances, I guess. Oh my god, I think something's going to go wrong here. No, don't do that! What? Oh. oh my god, this guy. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, my God. God, like... Okay, let's see who are in there. Yeah. Okay, who's inside? No. <laughs> oh, there's still someone. Okay. Okay, there you go. He's here. All right, that's it. Okay, guys, that was it. Um, we're going to resume this next week. So, yeah. Okay, so this episode, um, we are on a rescue mission. Saka and Zuko and later on Suki joins as well. So, okay, so first of all, now, I think, I don't know why, like, you know, they could have just asked Aang to go with, uh, I guess, you know, Aang needs to keep his training on going. Uh, yeah, probably because of that and and also like, you know, uh, uh, Saka doesn't, you know, like he's blaming himself. Saka does not want uh, others to, you know, like suffer because of his own uh, mistakes in the plan, his own plan's failure. But like, yeah, like it's, it happens as Zuko said in the end, like you're going to fail in a lot, like, you know, a lot. So if you just say that, yeah, I give up, it'll be all for nothing, you know, like you're, you're failing is like, a, you know, little 
like you know you failing gives you experience and if you just give up midway all that experience will be you can you got for nothing it'll result to nothing so you need to actually keep trying like it sounds quite easy to say you know like like oh don't give up keep trying and i also know like people who are actually wearing those shoes you know and actually failing those people you know like it's it's very tough for them it's 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 quite easy to say that yeah don't give up you know it's quite easy to say that but actually to keep to do that it takes a lot of courage a lot of determination patience and hard work so yeah like and and saka saka is an intelligent guy he 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 he's someone who can like turn a whole thing completely around because of his brains his intelligence so for saka i think uh, the the device was perfect that he keeps like you know he keeps needs to keep doing this so that these experience actually help nurture him to become a person who is able to do it better the next time okay so yeah so zuko and uh, saka they're off to save the prisoners and the war balloon i i knew it won't work by the end of it because if somehow they are able to find the prisoners um like like at that moment i thought maybe the pri- there will be a lot more prisoners you know but turns out there's only the dad so i think maybe having the um balloon could have helped but you know what like there'll be four people like they need to get out suki's also there so i think help like you know carrying four people in a war mich- balloon i think it's a bit i don't know i'm not sure like you know will the weight be able to carry it or not but yeah anyways like uh moving on like the the war the war balloon is gone so it doesn't even matter like we are able to reach the prison but yeah like the war balloon is just destroyed and we need to find a way to get out of this whole situation like even if we are able to get out of the um Oh, I forgot. I was no. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, like I was thinking, like okay, Appa can help, and then I realized that Appa has not come with them. So okay, that I, yeah, like what now? The question is like, if like I'm sure they'll be able to get out of that situation. How are they going to get off the island? Like, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe they'll hijack a ship or something. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I'm I'm sure we'll get our answer in the next episode. But yeah, so here we see uh, we are in this prison, and this is a Fire Nation prison for Fire Nation criminals. While there are occasional war prisoners here as well, so like the main people, the leaders are probably taken here. For example, Suki is the leader. Suki is being taken here. Um, uh, uh, Saka's dad is the leader. Was the leader. So he's also taken here. So I'm guessing the other prisoners are probably in some other prison, like you know, like some normal local prison or something. So yeah, All right. So here we see what's going on. Um, how the prisoners are being, like you know, like like prisoners are usually treated. They are like you know punish when they do something like you know break the rules and the way it all usually does like you know they have to do the core chores and other stuff so <clears throat> we find suki here like at the beginning uh saka was like like i came here for nothing because there were no um like you know water benders like from zuko's information there were no water benders here so uh, saka felt like he came here for nothing but Finding Suki was kind of like a blessing in disguise because they had to actually hang around for a little bit longer, and Saka's dad is also here now. So if they weren't able to find Suki, they would have just went back empty-handed. That would have been it. So actually waiting for Suki and trying to break out, taking their time, helped them. Uh, and you know, like um, now we we see that Saka's dad has also arrived. Okay, so. <clears throat> So this is what happened to Suki. I was kind of wondering, like, what even happened to Suki? Like, you know, like I'm like one thing I'm pretty I'm very glad about is like, thank God Azula did not just kill her. You know, like, I, like I don't trust that girl. Like, 
<laughs> this is Azula we're talking about. She she she's she's crazy. So it wouldn't actually surprise me if she like killed uh, Suki after like you know defeating her. Like it really wouldn't surprise me. But uh, yeah, like I feel like I'm I'm being a bit too harsh on her because I don't I don't remember seeing her actually killing people. Yeah, I don't think we've seen her actually killing people. No, so I think I'm being a bit too harsh, but you know what? <laughs> this is Azula, like, who knows what goes through her brain? Like, she, she's a mysterious, like, you know, she, her head is full of mystery. Like, <laughs> what she thinks of, no one knows. And, yeah, like, that's why I was a bit concerned for Suki, but now we can see that she's here as a prisoner, and, yeah, like, we, we can break her out of this whole mess. Okay, so... We were making our plan of getting out of this prison. Comes, uh, what's his name? Cha, Cha, Cheat or something like that. I forgot his name. Anyways, the guy, you know, who who, who was like uh, in the cooler, that guy. You know, he comes and he's like, yeah, let me in. And he kind of helps us as well, you know, to get uh, like our hands in the freezer. You know, like taking out the bolts and everything. They make a scene, and now, like. It's, I, I kind of feel sad for him because he just wanted to get out of the place and you know like uh, when Saka and all of them said that yeah we won't go he was like okay then I'm getting out like yeah this is like I'm not staying here and it's, it's, it's natural for him to think of it that way because like this is the first time he's meeting Saka like they're not best buds you know <laughs> so he's like yeah I'll, I'll see my way and it was like, you know, I, I, I really wanted him to actually get out of that place, but yeah, who knows, like, what, like, you know, like, the way everything went down after that, like, he kind of, like, did a bad mistake there, he just, like, you know, touched the, the metal part and, you know, kind of tried to you know, battle and the fumes kind of got to him and he screamed and that's, boiling water so yeah you are definitely going to scream like that if your hand touches it so yeah that was like a very bad decision he took if Saka was there I'm sure it could have ended in a better way but since Saka was not there he wasn't there to like you know warn him and yeah he just messed up now here's one thing I'm kind of saying that yeah this I, I feel bad for him he could have just gone out of this whole thing situation and he helped us so i'm thinking that he's a good guy he might not be a good guy actually they're actually prisoners and like you know like criminals so who knows what he have act he has actually done outside so i'm i'm, I'm just saying that you know like by looking at this episode because he helped us kind of in a way i'm saying that yeah i kind of feel bad for him because he seems like a nice guy but who knows what he has done outside so he might be a murderer or something like we don't know who he is so i'm not sure what reason he is in this prison prison was he like a thief did he steal something got caught and that's why he's you know what i doubt thieves are okay yeah i think he's probably a very bad criminal or something because because this is like uh this is a boiling rock like the big like you know like probably the bigger criminals are put here so yeah i don't think he's like a pesky thief or something you know what i think it probably worked out well by the end of it like basically like you know these guys they were going to get out of this whole th prison and they're probably going to commit more crimes outside they are going to i'm sure they would do that because they're actually bigger criminals so I think it's, it probably worked out well by the end because they got captured. I feel sad for them in a little bit, you know, kind of feel bad for them, not sad for them. I feel bad for them because, <laughs> like, you know, they kind of helped Saka and all of them and kind of made a plan to get out, but then got caught. I feel bad for that, but you know what? The result, I think it worked out for the better because I'm sure they, these people are criminals, actual real criminals who probably did some bad stuff outside. Like, otherwise, why would they be here in this prison? Like, in the middle of this boiling water thing. So, yeah, good thing then they weren't able to get out. Because if they go out, they'll probably do, like, go back to doing their criminal activities. So, yeah, good thing they weren't <laughs> unable to go out. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways. But, 
okay like one thing that kind of helped them out i guess like saka and all of you know them is that um i don't know they they kind of acted like a uh what can i say like a test like i feel bad for saying this <laughs> they kind of acted like a test run you know like they went in the water like this this plan that saka made it was like a new plan he he had no idea how it would work out so these people kind of acted like a test run a guinea pig you can call them and now Asaka probably knows what not to do <laughs> as i said i feel bad actually referring to them as guinea pigs but yeah like uh, uh, yeah anyways but okay so <clears throat> so yeah by the end of it we see like um uh, Saka's dad is here so and no one else is here like all the other prisoners uh you know like for example um those people like the the, the what was his name pipsqueak yeah pipsqueak and then the other guys you know like the doctor guy then uh um, haru i think haru's dad yeah haru's dad was also there i think like they're not here so maybe they're somewhere else like we we won't be able to save them but hopefully we're able to save saka's dad from here Saka's dad and Suki from here and get out of this place. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, for a moment there, I kind of thought like maybe this guy, this Chit, Chit, um, I, I can't remember his name, the guy who was in the cooler. No, I thought for a moment there, I thought maybe they're going to go out and maybe he'll join us or something. <laughs> well, turns out, yeah, that's not going to happen. And as I said, maybe he's a, probably, it's most probably he is a criminal. He's an actual criminal. So yeah, good thing he got caught again, I guess. That's it. Uh, that was this episode, and we're going to resume this from the next, uh, you know, in the next week. So yeah, this is part one of Boiling Rock. So next week we're going to start from part two. So yeah, that's it, guys. So thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to uh, After the Last Airbender Book Three, episode number thirteen and fourteen. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of avatar the last airbender book three so until then goodbye and have a nice day